Good morning, class. Today we are going to be looking at some collaborative art. Up until now, we have looked at individuals like Romero Brito and his interesting use of patterns in his paintings, and Frida Kahlo and her creative use of self-portraits using animals, flowers, and a traditional Mexican style. But there's another kind of art called collaborative art, and that is where more than one person works on a piece of art. We are going to do that today for our school. Now, it's used in murals around Philadelphia, where it would take a long time for one person to cover all that space, but with many hands, the work is faster. And there's also the types of art where people take lots of pieces of things and put them together to make one beautiful picture. So I'm going to choose a feather shape. I have blue ones and white ones, and since I'm using orange on mine, I'm gonna choose a white one. First thing I'll do is write my name, draw a line in the middle for the center of the feather, and then I will choose some colors in oranges and maybe yellow or red. Then I will draw some lines on my feather to make it look more feathery. And I'm trying to keep it orange. This crayon has broken, but I will use the small piece because that is just fine. At the end, I'm going to take a marker and write what I am thankful for. And I am thankful for my dog. Now, since my feather is mostly orange, I will put it in the orange folder, sticking up a little bit so people can see that I've made an orange feather. When all of these feathers are collected, I'm gonna put them together and make a beautiful piece of art.